NTSB investigators say an airplane that crashed in St. Charles County Saturday night made an unexplained left turn just minutes after taking off from Spirit of St. Louis Airport, and investigators do not know why. Five on your side's Alex Fees is live at the St. Charles County Police Department and has learned both pilots were experienced. Alex. That's right, and they certainly were. In fact, investigators uh, referred to these pilots as instrument rated uh, commercial pilots. The two pilots who were killed Saturday night are 55 year old George King and 35 year old Amanda Youngblood, both from the state of Ohio. The question now for investigators is what went wrong? There was not a distress call. Uh, there are some communications that we're assessing uh, that give the impression that potentially there was there was an issue. Um, but we need to assess those further before I want to go further with that. NTSB investigators provided us with these aerial photographs of the crash site. The twin engine cargo plane crashed Saturday night in rural St. Charles County. Investigators say after the plane took off from Spirit of St. Louis Airport in Chesterfield, it climbed to about 8,000 feet. On a westerly heading, then it began a turn to the left back towards the east with a descent. ATC queried the pilots about their heading and altitude, but there was, a not, there was not a response back. The last data transmitted from the airplane was at 4,700 feet while it was in that unexplained left turn. Investigators will also be studying security video like that from Chris Byers' house. <laughs> We also have, uh, fortunately, a doorbell video uh, with audio from that it was taken about a third of a mile to the north of the accident site, and we'll have a sound spectrum analysis completed on the doorbell video. St. Charles County Police Chief Kurt Frizz says area residents helped first responders locate the crash site. The weather was bad. Um, you know, it is very hilly terrain. It was off the roadway, you know, um, so it was just challenging. Like I said, there was no fire. There was. You know, it was a it was a challenging area to fight, to narrow it down to where the crash site was. Now, the NTSB's preliminary investigation results will be available in about two weeks. They do not expect that icing was an issue on Saturday night. If you have any evidence like that security video you think might be relevant, you can send it to NTSB investigators. The email address is contained in this story on KSDK.com. Live tonight in St. Charles County, Alex Fees, five on your side.